Well, standing here with uh, the father of all podcasters, really, if you think about it, because the whole notion of doing the podcast sprang from your loins not 46 years ago. Stan Mizrahi, father of Donnie Mizrahi. Father of the Wheeze, for those that don't know. And lover of the automobile. What'd you bring us, Stan? Well, you've twisted my arm again and forced me to bring down another car, so I'm here. Uh, We brought down a 48 Ford F1 pickup. Now, 48 is the first year of the F-Series pickup trucks. Mm -hmm. This one has got uh, a built flathead engine in it. It's got Offenhauser heads. It's got Eddie Myers twin high-rise with twin 97 carburetors, Schneider cam. Eddie Myers, didn't he sing two tickets to paradise? Close, but Uh, no. That's Eddie Munster. Uh, no. I'm confused now. No. Yeah, so it's built nicely, but you didn't build it, right? No. You did no. what I always say. Let somebody else do the building. You come in, lowball them, and walk away with pennies on the dollar, right? That's the only way to do it. I've uh, had enough experiences building them from scratch, and I'm here to tell you, not only do you lose the shirt, but you lose the house and everything else. I mean, what would it cost to build something like this? I mean, the paint's immaculate. Uh, body work, obviously, engine, the whole, I mean, you've got to be, be at least a hundred grand building something like this, right? With ease. The paint job on this car with the body work and the stainless, that was $30,000. That didn't include the engine or any of the other stuff. And it's always the little things that you don't think about that wind up bite you in the end. Well, the, sure. thing, the thing that I like about this truck, it's a fun truck. We've been out to Bob's Big Boy with the kids in the back, sure. kids pushing buttons on the dash, having a great time, and it's durable, and it's a you know, it's a fun tool around. And, and what would so so like again? If you build this truck, you're into it for a hundred grand, and you picked it up for the neighborhood of what? Probably twenty. There you go. So it's it's really twenty cents on the dollar essentially. And uh, again, look, it's fun to monkey with stuff, but n- no one wants to sandblast fenders or go and scrape hammer uh, stainless steel trim and. Yeah, like scraping undercoating off the inside of fender. So my thing is, let somebody paint it, build it, do it, (laughs) get the whole thing, and then you get it and massage it a little bit. Do your own little touches to it. That's all. One mistake that everybody seems to make when they get started in this game is they want to get in as cheap as they can. Well, they'll go out with a 32 Ford. They'll buy a Brookville body. By the time they get through building that car, they're going to have easily $100,000 tied up in it. You go to sell it, you're going to get twenty or 30000 Where if they'd have put it into an original Henry Ford car, the same amount of work, they'd be looking at a minimum of a hundred and a quarter. I don't know that name, but I'm going to Google Harry Ford when we get back and see who, just, just who that somebody. is. All right, well, let's walk <laughs> let's us around the, the car, Stan. All right. So this is, did you say the first F-150? No, F, F F-1. F series, sorry, yeah. It's called but the F one. This is uh, oh, the F one. I see. But this is the beginning of the F series, and probably, uh, arguably, probably uh, other than uh, Model A, Model T, the most successful thing Ford's ever done is probably the Ford F right. wh- whatever series, exactly. right? I mean, they sell more of those F one fifties than they do anything else. She, you want to pop the hood? Did you say sure. it was a flathead in here? Yeah, it's the original flathead, but all rebuilt. Let's this car was used by Ford in their anniversary uh, truck brochure. I'm laughing because I said pop the hood, but you. Uh, yeah, there's no. We're already there, right? High rise manifold, huh? Stan? That's an Eddie Myers. It's called a Hollywood. Mm-hmm. And it's a high rise manifold. That's one of the original ones. It's worth a few bucks. Polished high rise manifold, two single barrel downdraft. Yep, ninety sevens. And uh, again, the the fuel, the plumbing is is pretty. Nice detail. Love that. I'll tell you, there's one thing I really love about that sort of hot rod era is just that cast finned aluminum stuff. It's just great looking stuff, whether it's the valve covers or in that case uh, over the air cleaner. It's just a great look. One of the things I like about it is just how small and packed the motors. There's not a lot of stuff around it. You look at there's like no air conditioning systems. You know, hidden under this one, there's a, a power steering on this one. Yeah, it's Toyota. Yeah, just it's or tucked Toyota tight. Power steering. Really there. nice, simple. Yeah. It also has a C4 automatic to it. Would you uh, sure you're past that age, Dan? Yeah. Would you uh, like to fire this thing up and give it a little little sure. listen? Nice. You remember the curve of the flathead? Sure, I know our crumb. Right, our crumb 
this is uh, Mr. Keep on Trucking. He did Mr. Sure. Natural, Devil Girl. Sure. I remember the Keep on Trucking guy. Yeah, that's Very all. popular in the 70s. Yeah. That's From, all uh, hand Crumb. painted. That's, uh, oh, it's hand painted. Yep. Wow. Not by the original. Not by the original no. R. Crumb. But, now, uh, you, nice. you, you look at the gauges, they're all moon gauges. But they're the older ones. If you look down below Adam, it says made in the good old U.S. of A. Mm -hmm. That's no longer in existence. They, the ones that yeah. they make now come from China. They don't have that. The uh, stereo, does it work? Yeah, that's the original radio. And is that Bakelite around that? That's basically what it is. Some say that it was soybean. Soybean. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, again, I, I guess it's a it's push button, right? AM uh -huh. push button. You don't get many stations with it. And how's the, what's the big difference between the flathead and the uh, overhead valve variety? In the flathead, the valves are actually in the block. Mm -hmm. In the overhead, the, the valves are actually up in the head. That's the main talk about, Let's think lawn, lawnmower engine with eight cylinders. Uh-huh. But, it, it, and, and I know it doesn't make the kind of horsepower that, uh, you know, a Chevy 350 does. But how's it do on torque? Actually, the truck weighs about 4,000 pounds, and it moves it right along. And the interesting thing is, it was originally 85 horse with the heads, the cam, the crank, all the stuff that went into it. 87 maybe, horse now. Yeah. Maybe one and a quarter. <laughs> oh, really? I stepped on Stan's <laughs> joke. Well, the thing about these, Adam, is if you look at the 54 through 56 trucks, mm -hmm. those are my, the trucks you see today. They're mostly people trucks. Right. These are a little bit far and few between by virtue of the fact they were Four actually trucks. used on farms and sure and so they got they got used they, they got, got beaten up, up they got rusted exactly stan doing the lord's work having people dump their life savings in the vehicle and then you come in chew them right down snap it up for pennies on a dollar nice work buddy only thing i can tell you is sometimes even when you do that you wind up getting surprises so be careful all right the great stan miss rocky